27th of October 2021 Morning Mushli Om Shanti Baptada Matupan Sweet children now together with studying you also have to become teachers and teach others this study is for the last part and you must therefore study well and also teach others question on what basis is the golden age kingdom established answer on the basis of how you study at the confluence age those who study well and who have the omens of jupiter over them will go into the sun dynasty those who don't study and who don't do service have the omens of buddh means lack of wisdom over them and they are like buddhos they became part of the subjects elevated subjects as well as meats and servants etc are all created on the basis of how you study at present om shanti the spiritual father that is the supreme soul sits here and explains to your spiritual children you souls the spiritual father is called the supreme soul the father of all souls is the one supreme father the supreme soul he sits here and explains to you through the body of brahma on the path of devotion people speak of trimurti brahma you brahmins would not say this you speak of trimurti shiv that it shiv the creator of brahma vishnu and shankar there is no meaning in the expression trimurti brahma the creator of the three deities it shiv this is why trimurti shiv it said there is the one creator and all the rest are creation there is just the one unlimited father alvan has his own physical father at this time all have become the children of shibaba you children know that we souls go around the cycle of 84 births and so we have 84 limited fathers in the golden age the parents don't give you an unlimited inheritance it is now that you receive the unlimited inheritance for the golden age it is the kingdom of lakshmi and narayan they are all the children of other royal families will receive their inheritance from their physical fathers nevertheless there is a lot of happiness there at this time the unlimited father is making you into the masters of the unlimited world you receive the inheritance of constant happiness for 21 births there there is no name or trace of sorrow as soon as the path of sin begins sorrow begins explain to whoever comes you have two fathers you take 84 births and so you have 84 limited fathers you only have the one unlimited father the intellects of your children have the understanding of what the incorporeal world is the incorporeal world you show in the picture should be a big picture with a tiny soul sparkling like stars just as you earlier used to make garlands of fireflies similarly you should also make the incorporeal world like that when you show a projector show also show a picture of the incorporeal world like that if the picture of the tree is large it can be clearly seen that we souls recite there it will be easy for children to understand this is the unbridled baba who is establishing the deity community through brahma you are now brahmins and you will then become deities with divine virtues everyone now has devilish traits they are called devilish defects sorrow begins with the path of sin it is and that you became unhappy as soon as you became rajo pradhan no you are degrees degrees gradually the main pictures are the trimurti the cycle and the globes of heaven and hell it is essential to explain this first in the picture of the tree there is the clear explanation of half the cycle and then the other half of the cycle when it is done accurately they will be able to understand fully no one except the father can explain this you definitely need to explain the picture of the trimurti over and over again 
This is the incorporeal unlimited father whom everyone remembers. Souls know that he is our unlimited father. Everyone remembers him at a time of sorrow. In the golden age, there is no need to remember him. It is the land of happiness. Deities have continued to take rebirth. No one knows this either. You know how from being Sato Pradhan, we go through the stages of Sato, Rajo and Tamo. Souls have a lot mixed into them. You souls know that you have to play your parts of 84 births. These are recorded in a souls accurately. Such tiny souls have whole parts recorded within them. This is a most profound thing to understand. No human being, sage or sannyasi can have these things in his intellect. Although the speak of a play, a play is not a drama. This is a drama. Previously, they didn't have dramas or bioscopes, means films, etc. At first, they just had silent movies, whereas they now have talky movies. We souls also come into talky from silence. We go from talky into movie and then we go into silence. This is why you children are told not to talk too much. Royal people speak very softly. You have to go to the subtle region. The father has explained the knowledge of the subtle region to you. This is the world of talking and that is the movie. There you talk to God. There there is the form of white light but no sound. They understand one another through movie language. You now have to go into silence via movie. The father says I first have to create the subtle world and then the physical. It is remembered the incorporeal world, the subtle region and the corporeal world. People don't even know that Brahma, Vishnu and Shankar are residents of the subtle region. There is no world there. Only Brahma, Vishnu and Shankar are to be seen there. You see Vishnu with four arms. It shows that this is the family path. Sannyasis belong to the path of isolation. That too is in the drama which the father speaks of and explains to you. The father says the main thing is Man Manabhav. All the rest is detail. It takes time to understand that. In a nutshell, there is the seed and the tree. When you look at a seed, your intellect can picture the whole tree. The father is the seed and he has all the knowledge of this tree and the world cycle. The explanation of the world cycle is different from that of the tree. All of these images have been shown in the picture of the tree. When you show the picture of the tree to anyone of any other religion, he will be able to understand that he is unable to go to heaven. When it was the time of ancient Bharat, there were just the deities because everyone else resided in the land of peace. You know both the seed and the tree. The seed is up above and he is called the lord of the tree. You now belong to the father and so you have the omens of Jupiter over you. Those who belong to the father are said to have the omens of Jupiter over them. Then there are the omens of Shukra means thanksgiving and then the omens of Buddh means lack of wisdom. Those who have the omens of Jupiter over them became part of the Sun dynasty. Those who have the omens of Buddh became part of the subjects. They are unable to do service. If they are unable to remember the father, they are Buddhus means full and in that too they are number wise. Some became elevated subjects and others became lesser subjects. There is a vast difference between wealthy subjects and their maids and servants. Everything depends on how you study. Studying is also Satoguni, Rajaguni and Tamoguni. A kingdom is being established. Those who are clever stay in remembrance of the father. The whole tree stays in their intellects. It is only by studying that 
you can become a teacher or a barrister a teacher then teaches others everyone studies there is just one study some study and became elevated whereas others became teachers there means where they study they teach whatever they have studied you too are now studying some study and became teachers they themselves say it is the teacher's duty to make others the same as herself if you don't become teachers how would you benefit others very little time remains and you will continue to study until destruction takes place you are studying well then aid then after 5000 years baba will come and teach you again this study will not continue for hundreds and hundreds of years the study is just for this last part you have to study and then teach not everyone can become a teacher if everyone were to become a teacher many would claim a high status it is number wise first of all give anyone who comes the introduction of the two fathers when you have pictures of this they will be able to understand well you should definitely have a picture of the trimurti with you that one is shubhava and this is prajapita brahma the great great grandfather of all so he must definitely have come previously brahma is in front of everyone creation is now being created through him you have now become brahmins and you brahmins will then become deities the tree of brahmins is small there are very few deities and then their number continues to grow your new tree is being established souls of other religions come down from up above to play their parts there is no question of falling your new tree is being established maya too is in front of you you have to become satopradhan from tamopradhan you have to be transferred because the world is changing and that is why it takes effort the deity religion is being established here at the confluence age you also show how long the golden age is and how the golden age then becomes the iron age in the iron age everyone has to become tamopradhan it is only when you became tamopradhan that you can then become satopradhan you were satopradhan and alloy then continued to be mixed into you now even if a new soul has come down takes two or three births alloy will very quickly be mixed into it in that short period that soul will experience happiness and sorrow some souls just take one birth when souls stop coming destruction will take place then all souls will have to return home sinful souls and charitable souls return home together then the charitable souls come down everything changes at the confluence age so you children should keep the whole drama in your intellects the father has all the knowledge he says i come and tell you all the secrets of the beginning the middle and the end of the world cycle i don't speak this knowledge on the path of devotion when devotees remember me i grant them visions my path also begins when the path of devotion begins i remain in retirement in the golden and silver ages what else is there for me to do once i have sent the children into happiness i just take retirement the system of retirement means taking a guru is only in bharat the unlimited father says I see in retirement only the unlimited father comes as the guru and takes us into retirement people seek the company of gurus to find god they study the scriptures go on pilgrimages and bathe in the ganges but they don't find anything you have now found the unlimited father he liberates you from sorrow removes you from the kingdom of ravan and sends you to the kingdom of ram the unlimited father only comes once to liberate you from the sorrow of ravan and this is why he is called the liberator in the golden age it is the kingdom of ram and all the rest of the souls will have gone to the land of peace no one knows that the religion of the self 
the soul is peace. It is after souls have come here to play their parts that they became peaceless and so they remember that peace. Originally, souls are residents of the land of peace. Souls now say, I want peace. My mind wants peace. It is explained that a soul has a mind and an intellect. Souls are embodiments of peace and they then come here to act. How can they experience peace there? Thus is the land of peacelessness. In the golden age, there is both peace and happiness. There is purity and prosperity. The father explains you had so much happiness, peace, prosperity, everything. You now have to explain to others. Those who claim their inheritance in the previous cycle will try to understand this very well. Although some come later, they can quickly go ahead of the older ones. Those who come towards the end receive better points because the study becomes easier day by day. They know that they have understood everything, but they now have to make effort to become Satapradhan from Tamapradhan. For that, they have to start making intense effort because they understand that very little time remains. They feel that they should engage themselves in making as much effort as possible. They should make effort before death comes. They should also keep their charts. The study is very easy. As well as that, there is the question of remembrance. It is remembered, oh mind, remember Ram, in the early morning. The soul says, oh my mind, remember Ram. On the path of devotion, no one knows who Ram is. The speak of King Ram, who is the head of the Raghu clan. They have created so much confusion. Who is Ram? The god of everyone? People don't understand anything at all. They continue to waste their time and money. I gave you children, your fortune of the kingdom of the world. What did you do with it? Five thousand years ago, you were given the sovereignty of heaven. How did you lose it? You now understand how you continue to calm down. You now have to ascend again. It takes one second to ascend and 5000 years to descend. It takes one second for Brahma to become Vishnu and 5000 years for Vishnu to become Brahma. Baba explains so many points. Acha, to the sweetest, beloved, long lost and now found children, love, remembrance and good morning from the mother, the father, Baptada, the spiritual father says Namaste to the spiritual children. The spiritual children says Namaste and good morning to the spiritual father. Essence for the Dharna. First point, you now have to go from talking to movie and from movie to silence. Therefore, talk very little, very softly and with great royalty. Second point, after understanding knowledge, make intense effort to become Satopradhan. Keep a chart of your remembrance. Blessing, may you become worthy of being worshipped and remember by using all your powers, considering it to be your duty and not thinking of them as miracles. Explanation, do not use the powers you gain by having remembrance as miracles, for it is your duty to use them. Those people have miracles of occult powers, but you have Srimad. You definitely develop powers by following Srimad, and this is how your thoughts become practical. You can inspire someone to carry out a task with your thoughts, and that too is a power. But it is only when you do not mix the dictates of your own mind with Srimad that you will become worthy of being worshipped and remembered. Slogan Instead of becoming disheartened in any type of upheaval, become one with a big heart. Om Shanti